runway incursions, which are defined as the incorrect presence of an aircraft, vehicle, or person on the protected area of a surface designated for the landing and takeoff of aircraft. For obvious reasons, these types of events can cause serious adverse outcomes. While runway incursions have always been an issue, with ever-increasing flight activity, these events are happening more frequently. In this video, we take a look at things that you can do to reduce your chances of committing a runway incursion. FAA guidance on this subject comes from AC 91-73B. In this document, which is focused on single pilot operations, they discuss the need for establishing standard operating procedures, or SOPs, that prescribe activities and behaviors that will help to eliminate runway incursion events. In general, the potential for runway incidents and accidents can be reduced through adequate planning, coordination, and communication. Guidance for this developed by the FAA is grouped into seven major categories, including planning, situational awareness, written taxi instructions, pilot passenger communications, ATC pilot communications, taxiing, and exterior lighting. Planning consists of reviewing the airport layout using an airport diagram, determining your likely taxi route ahead of time, reviewing any hotspots along your expected route, and determining whether there are any notums for taxiway or runway closures. This review should be done for both the departure airport and the destination airport. You should also be familiar with airport signage, markings, and lighting to ensure that you understand where you are and where you're going. Of particular importance are runway holding position markings and runway boundary markings. Once you receive your actual taxi instructions, write them down using shorthand, and then read back your instructions, including your runway assignment, so ATC can be sure that you properly understand them. Then review the taxi route on a chart before moving. Keep in mind that your actual taxi instructions may vary from your expected route, so briefing your actual taxi instructions is an important step in preventing an incursion. Once you begin your taxi, monitor your location to ensure positional awareness. If at any time you are unsure of your location, you should stop and ask for assistance from ATC. Here, we can see a safe taxi depiction on Garmin Pilot, with our position shown on the map. With ADS-B in, you can also observe other surface traffic on this display, and it's also possible to zoom in to see hotspots and other features at the airport. Use of safe taxi greatly contributes to positional awareness. Safe taxi is available on many Garmin devices, including the ERA family of handheld devices, panel-mounted devices, and all of the Garmin integrated flight decks. Another feature found in Garmin integrated flight decks is Surface Watch. This feature allows for designating the departure and destination runways, which places a cyan outline around the selected runway, and cyan directional chevrons on the runway. If you line up on a different runway during takeoff or landing, you'll see an alert enunciation of Check Runway, and hear Check Runway. If lining up on a taxiway, you'll see an alert of Taxiway Takeoff or Taxiway Landing, and hear Taxiway. While taxiing and during takeoff and landing, you'll see position information, as well as distances to upcoming taxiways and runways. Whether you use a paper chart or have electronic means of staying aware of your position on the airport, maintaining situational awareness during ground operations is critical for avoiding runway incursions. Avoid distractions during taxi and wait to conduct pre-departure checklists until stopped. After landing, wait until you're clear of the runway hold short line before conducting the after landing checklist and before contacting ground control. Keeping your eyes outside the flight deck during taxi aids greatly in maintaining positional awareness, with an occasional glance inside to monitor your position on a chart or moving map display. Before entering or crossing a runway, 
be absolutely sure you are cleared to do so. A leading reason for runway incursions is misunderstood instructions from ATC. So if you aren't sure, then ask ATC for clarification. Before taxiing onto or across a runway, scan the full length of the runway in both directions and turn on all exterior lights to aid others in seeing you. If carrying passengers, it's advisable to brief them on the need for a sterile cockpit during taxi operations and until out of the terminal area during takeoff. The same holds true for landing operations, when they should refrain from unnecessary conversation from the time landing preparation begins until stopped at the destination facility. Okay, that wraps up our discussion of ways to reduce the risk of a runway incursion. Be sure to check out additional information on this subject in the documents that are linked in the description for this video. We encourage you to continue your safety journey by viewing the other videos in the Garmin Aviation Risk Management series. And thanks for flying Garmin.